All right, we definitely have some whitetail here. Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and I'm Lady Legend. Today we're gonna be joined by iBuy Premiums, who I call the Whitetail Whisperer. iBuy has to date spawned six Whitetail Great Ones, all in Rancho, right? Yep, all from Rancho. All from Rancho. Now I have spawned only one Whitetail Great One and that grind was rough. Right now we are starting our second Whitetail grind and I would like it to go a lot smoother. So iBuy is gonna share his best tips with us for the white tail grind in today's video. How's it going? It's going pretty good. Awesome. So right now, what we are actually doing is he is helping me to find my zones because the first thing you want to do before you start your grind, guys, is find all of your white tail drink zones. Isn't that right? Absolutely. How many zones should there be in Rancho? So when I started uh, my grind on Rancho, I started in the mid 50s. You started in the 50s and then you found more zones after that, correct? I found more zones because the zones on Rancho seem to be a little bit weird and inconsistent they do tend to break down and move around a little bit as you shoot through them so people can have different amounts of zones is that right absolutely okay. Okay, that's interesting. So you started at approximately in your 50s. Share with us your best tip. What can you tell us? So I would say like, obviously the number one thing is definitely to find all your zones. Um, a lot of people, you know, always ask what to do. Um, how many zones should they have? How many should they try and find? You should try and find all of them. Initial spawn great ones are a thing in Call of the Wild. And it absolutely just shows that you should go out there and look for every single zone that you can. Um, mm -hmm. But just know that you can start shooting if you don't have all, because there's no way to tell 100% if you have all your zones. Now that's different with Leighton, I find, wouldn't you agree? I could not start my grind with 39 zones in Leighton. They would not respawn for me. Well, that's one key indicator, and and you'll notice it on any map, any great one grind that you're doing. It doesn't matter if you go to Mississippi or Leighton or Rancho. If you're not getting your respawns, then that that is a true indicator that you need to go out there and do a little bit more work and, and find some more zones. Because the game really does want you to find a certain amount of zones before they will give you respawns, isn't that right? I, I do believe so. I think that you, you can get your respawns, but I think that they bounce. I almost feel like they go to other zones um, that you haven't yet discovered. So I've actually shot through a couple times on, you know, different setups and things. I mean, I've done this six times now for Whitetail and it just seems like if you don't have all your zones, your zones start to break down. The males don't come back and this is not overshooting. It's you're taking like two per zone, sometimes three if it's a big heavy zone, but you you start losing them. They, they just don't respawn. And so what I think is happening, I, I found zones later that are completely stacked with bucks. And that's another thing that can happen. When you don't have all of your need zones, you could have your great one spawn and you could never find it. It could be in a zone you don't have discovered. Isn't that right? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, because it goes into the respawn pool with all of the deer that have not been attached to a need zone. Yeah, so, and I've shot, like I said, I've shot quite a few times. And what I like to do is I like to shoot, you know, say like three to five zones at the start. Once I feel like I have a, a solid number of zones, I'll shoot like three to five zones and then I'll reset my time and, and I see if I got my respawns back in them. And if, if it all, they don't look right, then I will continue to look for zones. And how many zones do you farm? Uh, so I try to farm as many as I can. I don't have like a set number. I try to farm as many as I can with the amount of tents that I'm allotted, right? So I have 16 tents. I try to get the 16 tents um, on the best zones possible. So I look for, you know, shooting clarity. Do I have clear line of sight to my zones? How easy is it to get to these zones? Stuff like that. But I also like to shoot from a decent range. Like I, I try to set my tents where I'm shooting at a 150 to 300 meter range always. Now, some zones have more than one herd attached to them and you, you take two deer from each herd. Is that right? Yeah. And as long as you're in a hunting structure, guys, as long as you're shooting from a tripod, you don't have to worry about blowing out the zone when you do take four from a zone because it does have two herds. That's absolutely correct. And and the thing is with that, though, is that if you have even two zones, say that they're close together, you will still want to hunt from a structure because um, sometimes you'll shoot two from one zone and two from another zone. And just through, you know, them coming into their zones, maybe a little bit too close, you get that overlap. And I've actually yep. had zones delete double zones, yep. um, and it really throws a wrench into the grind. Especially here at Crab Claw Lake where I am, the zones are so close together that yeah, if you were to- Yeah, uh, 
very easily blow out more than one zone. That happened to me on Exclamation Lake. I had a zone at the very bottom. I blew out the middle zone. It blew out all three zones. I did the exact same thing in the exact same place. Did you? <laughs> yeah, it's so rough. It happens. Everybody blows zones out by accident, especially if you do start your grind without tripods, which you can do if you can't afford tripods, guys. Start your grind. You just have to be more careful and you can add them as you go. Absolutely. Yeah. And I would I would say that, you know, for a real serious grinder to get into it and stuff like that, I mean, you're going to look at anywhere from 500 to about 750,000 in-game currency that you're going to need to not only get your tents and things like that set up, but as well as like ammunition and you want taxidermy money. Yep, and whitetail don't pay that well. Not like red deer. No, they really don't at all. No, I, I actually went broke doing the whitetail grind in Leighton the first time because back then we used to change the time six times and I went flat broke. That is insane changing time that much. I always only do one day. I never, I've never changed it more. That, that's the way it was. It was well over a year ago. That's the way everybody did it. Yeah, I'm, I'm really new to the game. So I started in November. Well, that's pretty amazing. I do play quite a bit though. I put in quite a few hours. You, you guys definitely want to check out I Buy Premiums on Twitch. Definitely give him a follow. And here is the link on the screen here to his channel. Now, how often do you stream? Um, generally, I try to stream every day. I do work long hours and things like that, but my night shift gets off early in the morning, so I usually start about 8 a.m. Central Time. You work full time and you stream every day. That's pretty crazy. That's impressive. And if I don't, no one else will, you know? <laughs> now, you do go through quite a set of processes before you actually start your grind, don't you? Ah, uh, yes, I do. What do you do? So on top of finding the zones, like one key thing that I do, um, just as like a visual indicator, and I'm not sure like, you know, obviously new people starting out, they're not gonna probably have the tripods and things like that to do it. But when I find good herd zones that have, you know, that seem to be a good shooting location and things like that, I like to place a tripod down near that zone. Um, as just a visual indicator, so when I scroll out on the map, I can see zones that I've kind of pre-selected along the way that I want to look further into as setting up a zone to hunt. Oh, that's a good uh, idea. Yeah, it seems to work really well. It's just because, you know, when you're out there, you're running through so much of the map and there's a lot of other factors that go into the grind. So it's just, it, it kind of helps in the start to alleviate things a little bit. So basically it reminds you which zones are good to start with. And definitely like for white tail, you're going to want to be looking for your max weight bucks. You know, you get a zone that has two bucks in it or even even a potential, you know, a level three or something like that. I don't shoot them along the way. I actually, I will just place down my tripod so I know to come back to it. Mm -hmm. That's very disciplined. It is rough, but um, <laughs> it's it's definitely doable. I have to admit I shot a level three white tail off a rancho about three days ago. It was a troll. Ah, uh, see, see, <laughs> nah, it, it, it's all good. And I don't think, you know, in the grand scheme of things, you got to think that potentially you could be rifling through, you know, thousands of these animals. I don't think that, you know, harvesting one here and there, I don't think that's really going to hurt you too much. I'd rather keep my chances on the plus side rather than, you know, taking any chances of maybe hindering a zone that I like. And how many kills on average has it taken you for each great one or has it varied? A well, actually up until after the fifth one, it was 1,600 kills. So not too bad. Pretty but... awesome. You know how many kills it took me? Just uh, under... a, a lot. A lot. Just under 4,600, and I also killed 2,800 in Leighton and didn't get one. So what time do you usually change the time to when you do a time change? I usually start my rotations at 8.35. 8.35? That's usually what I do, too. You were saying that you start at the top zones that they come in sooner at the top? Yeah, so the top zones come in first and as you work your way down, the zones fill in um, after that, so. That's really interesting. That's good information. <laughs> okay, guys, we are actually going to go right into I Buy Premium's Whitetail Lodge and wait till you guys see this. It's crazy. All right, give us the tour. Well, and here, so, so this is, it's a whitetail lodge, but I've kind of called it my rancho lodge. I do have a diamond of each species off of rancho that I've tossed in here. It's kind of just like accent pieces, nice. you know? Probably 200 diamond whitetail in here, so. Holy. But they are everywhere. So, I mean, I have, you know, diamonds on every wall, um, everything, so. That's kooky. What is your favorite great one? My favorite is honestly, the very first one that I got, and it's this one here on the left. It's a big rack, but he's super wonky. Like, he's, he's twisted up. 
Yeah, it was super cool. I, was, I mean, you know, I got this guy at 1,600 kills. It was just amazing to see, like, the amount of want to it. I think it just has so much character. That's why I like it so much. And have you had any super rares? There is a super rare. So I do have this uh, diamond piebald right here. Look at that. Beautiful. I was completely shocked by this one, actually. So when was the first one? The first one was on January 16th. And you started playing when? On November 7th. That's insane. You know, since November, I have over 1,500 hours in the game. No, it's a lot of work. And just even the work that goes into it before you even start your grind, which doesn't always get streamed, is it's a lot of work. Right. And well, that's the tedious kind of boring part, you know? Like, I just want to shoot things and, and obviously get to the end result. But I mean, you have to put in the work and get the rewards. So, yeah, my biggest currently is a 274.7. Look at the white tail. Holy, these are all diamonds, guys. Can you imagine? It is wall to wall in here for sure. We definitely need more lodges. Congratulations, like that's crazy. Six great ones. Six great one whitetail. Never mind, you have four red deer, right? Yep. He's the great one guy, that's for sure. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us. I really do appreciate it, and I wish you the best of luck in your Mississippi grind. Definitely go ahead and follow I Buy Premiums. He's gonna be going for three more great ones, another great one huddle in Mississippi, and he will be doing it live on Twitch, right? Absolutely. I will come and watch you, definitely. That's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. Don't forget to leave a like. I appreciate it so much, and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Thanks, I bye. You're welcome, thank you. If you guys would like to learn amazing hotspots for every single species in Call of the Wild, definitely click on these where and when super guides. Take care, guys.